you can use this as a reference to defend yourself. 3D design can sometimes be distracting. And during my, my years as a PhD and postdocs, I was certainly handicapped. Hello scientists, welcome back to Zhuobao Mat. I hope you have a great beginning of the year. Hopefully uh, everything will be going to a positive direction in 2021. Today I will be reacting to the Nobel lecture by Dr. Emmanuel Champontier. Uh, she's the uh, winner of the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2020. In her lecture, she uses a lot of scientific illustrations to explain Christopher Cas9. So I think it will be quite fun to uh, take a look at how she designed her slides. And uh, because, hey, here's a scientific illustrator. So yeah, uh, I will um, take a look at uh, her design and see what we can learn from her. Uh, both the great choices and the questionables. Oh, here she comes. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to welcome you to my Nobel lecture. I wish I will be able to give the lecture live. Unfortunately, it is a recorded lecture, but I hope you will enjoy the recording. Let's look at her cover page. This is a minimalism design. I like it a lot. Uh, so it is very straightforward that uh, there's the title and a illustration of Christopher Cas9 and everything is black and white uh, in a shade of gray. I think this is a very appropriate choice for a uh, scientific presentation uh, in a very professional setting. This illustration you see here is a conventional way that they illustrate Christopher Cas9 just by the shape of itself uh, that it can already tell people which uh, structure that we will be talking about. I would like to start with explaining you the CRISPR Cas9 technology that is this uh, novel method for uh, genome editing. Uh, the particularity of this technology is that it's a uh, uh, sophisticated technology, yet uh, very simple, versatile. It works very efficiently and it is composed of a uh, protein component called Cas9 that is uh, represented on this slide as scissors. Uh, I think this is a very good choice uh, to uh, illustrate it this way because then uh, it really shows the function of uh, the Cas9 protein. Maybe some of the very pedantic academics would argue that um, this is not the true shape of the Cas9, uh, but since they use it in a Nobel lecture, you can use this as a reference to defend yourself. And also you see that uh, now the illustration is no longer black and white. Color can really help you to uh, distinguish the different uh, RNAs and, uh, in this illustration. So um, that's why uh, th th you start to see that colors are showing up because they are a very good storytelling tool. And during my, my years as a PhD and postdocs, I was certainly handicapped by uh, the, the, the non-possibility to perform genetics in human cells, which... I was a little bit shocked by she said she was suddenly handicapped uh, by the PhD. Uh, maybe that happened to some people. Yeah, you know, PhD is, is intense. So, uh, occupational hazard. So CRISPR uh, is to be uh, seen and, and considered as part of, of different systems which bacteria and archaea have evolved uh, over millions of years. Yeah, so this slide is actually a very good example of why we need scientific illustrations. The images on the bottom row are the SEM images and uh, they really show you how the phage infect the bacteria like in real life but she still needed to uh, make the uh, illustrations in the top row to uh, really help people to see the structures uh, clearly and also what is happening uh, when a phage uh, is when a phage is attaching to the bacteria 3d design can sometimes uh, be distracting and not as uh, informative as the 2D flat design. CRISPR is, is unique in the sense that it is an adaptive immune system. There is a first step of, of recognition that uh, leads to the, to the immunity. And it is composed of uh, protein components, the Cas proteins, 
and RNA components, the CRISPR RNA. Yeah, so here uh, we can uh, talk a little bit more about the use of colors. Uh, I think she uses it really well. There are many colors in the slides, but you don't feel overwhelmed. So that is because she make the colors lighter. The colors are not that saturated. Then it gives a good, elegant atmosphere for your images. But this is within the context of the European culture. So um, this is how they like to use their colors. So um, if you're from a different culture, of course that you can use uh, the color in your kind of ways. Um, for example, uh, where I'm from, it's more uh, tropic. So a lot of colors are more uh, saturated and vibrant. This is just how uh, the European uh, traditions uh, and design that they prefer to use colors this way. At the moment, a lot of the uh, scientific publications are still dominated by Western countries. And yeah, so this is um, the kind of design that they're used to. I have read all the, the publications on CRISPR-Cas when we started to work on, on the CRISPR-Cas9 system in my lab. And this, has, this is really by reading all those articles that, uh, that it uh, allowed me to, to really understand what will be different of the CRISPR-Cas9 system compared to other CRISPR-Cas systems. Scientists uh, adopted this, uh, this uh, technology and showed in a very, very short uh, amount of time that the technology was efficient to act on, on the DNA and uh, modify genes and their expression in a variety of cells, including human cells, in organoids, in model organisms such as mice, fish. Here we can talk about the usage of icons. They're good, uh, they make things interesting, um, but usually it's better to label them. That's a principle from uh, UX UI design. If you don't label them, sometimes people would uh, have confusion when trying to identify them. And on the le very left, you see something that uh, looks like a bacteria. Um, I think for for people who work in the uh, field of uh, microbiology, then you can see that it's a no doubt a bacteria. But uh, for people who don't work in uh, microbiology, it could be it could be anything that it could be a plant cell. It could be a normal eukaryote cell or it could be a, a abstract representation of the galaxy. People would have different perceptions uh, of what the icon means uh, and it, it will be heavily depend on their experience and the context they're in. So uh, it's better to label them uh, when you're using icons. We do know in our days how uh, important it is to really maintain the research uh, in macrobiology, to maintain the expertise and to study more bacteria and viruses, not only because they can cause diseases and, and, uh, and we need to find new treatments uh, for those uh, infectious diseases, but also because the last 50 years have shown to which extent bacteria and viruses are, are really a valuable source for the development of novel uh, biotechnologies. I would like to thank surely the people who have done the work uh, this work would not have been possible without uh, young scientists uh, being extremely committed and extremely enthusiastic. It has always been a pleasure to work with young scientists and this is also the, the reason why I like to do uh, science. And last but not least, I would like to thank my family, my friends, Rodger Novak and all my colleagues who have supported <laughs> my work and who have helped me uh, during my career. And I would like to thank you for your attention. She really likes young scientists. So, okay, so this is the Nobel lecture. Uh, and uh, I really like the minimalism design of the slides. They have done a really good job in the design and the scientific illustration. And um, there are a lot of uh, great examples in the lecture that you can learn from. You can watch the full lecture on the Nobel Prize channel. I'm not sponsored by them, even though I wish I am. <laughs> but uh, if you want to see the full reaction video, you can go to my Patreon. Uh, then uh, you can have access to my full reaction and all the teas that I have edited out uh, for YouTube, you know, because YouTube is quite public.
I really want to talk about how fashionable Dr. Champontier looks. Also, her posture is so good. It looks like she's on a runway. All those uh, scientists or detective movies uh, depicted a uh, scientific discovery. This uh, like that crucial image. Then we zoom in. And not only that, it's also because people on YouTube have less uh, patience in watching videos over uh, 10 minutes. Let me know in the comments uh, what you have learned through this uh, reaction video. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up. That can really help me to grow the channel and also uh, share the video if you find this uh, helpful or entertaining. Subscribe to uh, Drawbound Mat so you can see more of the future videos. I look forward to seeing you there.